In this video, we're going to look at how we can add a customized message that will be displayed once a respondent has submitted a survey in customer voice. So we've had the ability to be able to add kind of like a custom thank you message that would be displayed and we have that in Forms Pro, but now it's been taken to a slightly um, more customizable level in customer voice where we can actually determine what gets displayed based on the way in which questions were answered or based on variables within the survey as well. So if we scroll down to the bottom of our survey and customer voice, what we can see is we've got this post survey message and we've got a default that just says thanks with a header and then says thank you for sharing your feedback. What we can do is we can go ahead and we can say we want to add a message. Now, when we do that, we have the ability to set a heading. So with the heading, I might say, um, let's, put in a variable and I might actually put their first name and then say, thank you. Oh, thank you for completing the survey. And then what I could do is I could set a specific message that's going to be displayed. So we can use hyperlinks, we can use variables where it makes sense. So in this one, I might put, um, we appreciate you being a gold level client. Thanks for being awesome. And we can put in a little emoji as well. Now, what I want to make sure is that, that that thank you message is only displayed when somebody is actually a gold client. So I'm going to say show when the variable of support tier is equal to gold, and that's when it's going to be displayed. Now, I also have the ability to put conditions in for responses to specific questions as well, but it would have to equal a specific response. So um, that's really delving into more sort of based on the rating or maybe based on specific NPS or for net promoter score. If somebody is a detractor or passive, you might want to display a specific message. So I'm going to just do this one based on the variable. Um, and then what I might also do is say that I want to put in another message and we'll have the same heading. And this time, instead of being gold, we'll say for this one, it's basically their silver. So we appreciate you being a silver level client. And then maybe I do click here to see what extra benefits our gold plan gives you. Now for the click here, I could go ahead and I can select that. And then I could put in whatever the actual hyperlink is. I don't have anything for this. So I'm just gonna make it a link, but it won't actually go anywhere. And then maybe let's just make it bold as well. So we can see I can do all, all kinds of things with this. And for this one, I'm gonna say this, the response, sorry, this one, the variable, for support tier is equal to silver. So we can see it's starting to build up and we'll see each of those messages that we've added. I'm gonna add one last one in, so we'll just pause and we'll come back to it once I've got that one added in. All right, so now I've got all of my different messages and I've got the branching applied to each of them. So whether somebody is gold, silver or bronze, there will be displayed a specific message. Now I could go ahead and I could send this out, but if I just want to go ahead and test it and make sure that it's working okay, what I can do is if I come into the personalization area, which is where I have my variables set up, that first name that I'm displaying and also the support tier, I can go ahead and I can actually type in a default and then that will just um, use that as if somebody had actually answered the, the survey and those variables had been used. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, what do, will this look like if somebody is coming and the variable is set to silver? So I can go ahead and save that. And then I can go ahead and preview it and I can fill out some information and I can go ahead and submit. 
And because I'd set it to say Jane was the first name, I can now say, yes, it's going to display the person's first name. And we appreciate you being a silver level client because that is the account plan or the support tier that I'd put into that specific variable. So we can test it and I can go ahead, I can delete that response later on, but I can test it so I can see exactly what it will look like depending on the variables that have been passed through when I sent out the invitation and that will come back through when I get that survey response. So really nice that we can go ahead and do that. Custom thank you messages based on either the response to a specific question or based on a variable containing a specific value. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this is a nice new feature um, and certainly adds to the personalization of the survey experience. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.